Hey guys, I just wanted to come on here really quickly and announce that, well, you guys obviously already know, but Isayama is coming to the Americas, bitch. Oh my God. Oh my God. Is he... <laughs> Isayama is coming to America. Now I saw so many mixed reactions about this on Twitter. Some people are saying, I hope this isn't the breaking news that Kodansha had for us. Honestly, this is pretty big news. This is his first time meeting fans in America. This is pretty big news. So I don't really understand how people are disappointed with news such as this. Some people had their hopes too high. Some people were like, oh, he's going to release a, the Isayama cut manga or whatever the fuck. And I was like, come on, guys. Or he's going to announce some sort of sequel or something like that. To me, that would have been, that's the breaking news. Actually, that would be breaking news. Let's be real. But it wouldn't excite me. If it was some sequel announcement or something like that, this is a lot more exciting. And so as soon as I saw this, I immediately clicked on the link. I immediately went to the page. I immediately got tickets for this because I'm the type of person, I live nowhere close to New York, right? But I'm the type of person where my favorite band, right? The All American Rejects, they're having a concert. They're getting old guys. So I'm like, I've never went to see them. This band got me through middle school. And so they're holding a concert and I'm like, I'm going to fucking go. Of course, it's states away. Of course, it's very far, but I'm still going to go see it because in my opinion, this is the reason why we're alive. To meet people, to make connections for special little oh. moments like this and shit. And it's like. This stuff brings me so much fucking joy. So of course I get on YouTube. Of course I voice how disappointed I am with the ending and whatever and so on and so forth. But that cannot take away what this series did for me in middle school. I've told this story thousands of times that this series, uh, it would be like such a positive, which is very ironic, such a positive constant in my life. Like every day after school, I would run home, close my door, my bedroom door, and just read the new chapter on the 9th. Every single month on the 9th, I would just read the new chapter of AOT. And then there would be those Japanese holidays or whatever where there wouldn't be a chapter. And I'd be like so upset. And I'd be so sad. I'd be like, man, I wish there was a chapter this month. But there wouldn't be one. And then after reading the chapter, I would go to Forever World's channel and watch his review about it, listen to his reaction and stuff. And it was just a good fucking time. But I say all of that to say that regardless of how the series ended, regardless of my feelings about the ending, my feelings about um, what was said in certain interviews and whatnot, I will always be a fan of Isayama's, right? I can't take that away. Unless he goes on some weird like Kanye tirade. I will always be a big fucking fan and I, I nothing can take that away like not not a shit ending even though we know AoE is coming <laughs> literally nothing can take that away so I say all of that to say that I will be going to I guess see a Siyama and now what I want you guys' help with is what should I get signed? So there's going to be a signing on Friday an event where he just signs people's posters or whatever their books who cares, whatever. And then there's going to be an event on Saturday where he holds a panel. Some people are speculating that, that there's going to be like pre-questions already written out that some person's going to talk to Isayama and ask him in front of us and we're just going to have a live reaction to it. And some people think that we, we the audience, are going to have a chance to talk to Isayama via translator, obviously. Sorry, editing Aaliyah. That's another fucking thing. Like, if you're going to say hate to Isayama, imagine how fucking awkward the situation you're going to put the translator in. That's the awkwardest fucking thing I could ever think of. Imagine the translator. Uh, 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 she, she said that, that, um, she hates you and that you're a cuck and that you suck and you should never pick up your pencil to write anything ever again. <laughs> um, next, n next question. <laughs> Like, imagine how fucking awkward that would be anyways, moving on. And while I think both are possible, I think both are going to happen, right? I think there's going to be this preset of 10 questions or whatever that Isayama is going to be asked, and then the translator is going to translate it to us. And then I do think at the end or something, there's going to be, like, time left over for, what, like, six or seven people to raise their hand and get their burning question asked. 
Now, am I scared? I'm a little bit scared of a situation like this because even though I'm not one of those cringy people that go around to respect to see I'm a respect to see I'm a in his face. I absolutely agree with the fact that you have to respect this man. What you post on Reddit, what you post on Twitter, who cares? Who gives a fuck? You're entitled to your own opinion, whatever, right? On your own platform, you're entitled to your opinion. Comments are comments, who cares? But in the presence of this man, you better fucking respect him. You better fucking respect him. I'm sorry, that's just my opinion on it. Anybody who yells at him, lunges at him, whatever the fuck you do, burns his book in his face or something. Come on, it's tacky. That's some cringy, tacky ass, high school musical three type of bullshit. Like, do not fucking do that. Do not fucking do that. And that's not me saying, oh, if you get the opportunity, don't tell him you hated the fucking ending. Tell him that, by all means. Hey, my opinion on your last three chapters it was absolute dog shit. I hated it. Now, that's fucking rude, you know. That's uh, you know, that's not the word choice I would use, but it's understandable and I get it. But if you go there and you're fucking like, you fucking cuck, you dumbass, you bitch, you sell out, you whatever, I am going to give you the stank eye because come on, bro. Come on, bro. You are a fan of the series. You were wrapped up in this series. This series had you around its finger. He gave you 132 beautiful, amazing chapters out of his own brain. He came up with all of that shit, right? That was him. That was his character writing. That was his plot writing. That was his story that he gave to you. You are a fan. Respect that man for what he did do. Now, is it valid to be disappointed and to be angry with how the series ended? Honestly, yeah. Honestly, yes. Yes, because that's how I feel. It's so disappointing to see where the series ended up. But I don't think that's an excuse to go to this thing and scream at the author. If anything like that happens, I'm fucking condemning that right now. It's fucking ugly, it's disgusting, but I know how people are in America and I know it's bound to happen and honestly, it scares the shit out of me. But I will be going. Just know that I will be respectful. If I get the opportunity to ask a question, I will. Comment below what I should fucking ask if I get that opportunity. Comment below what I should get signed. Let me insert a clip of what I was thinking about having him sign. So this is my AOT shrine, heavy quotes. Um, I could have him sign. <laughs> Imagine how petty and funny it would be if I had him sign the guidebook page where he says that <laughs> Mikasa is like a mother to Aaron. Um, I could have him sign volume 34. I was thinking either volume one, volume 34, or one of these not this not this this my errand book <laughs> so either volume one volume 34 or this beautiful errand book but i feel like that would be kind of nonsensical because Isayama's not the animator. So would it make sense for him to sign this? I just think his signature would look really cool on this. What do you guys think? And it would be worth some money. <laughs> some shmoneys. Oh, fuck. Okay. So are we thinking volume one? Are we thinking volume 34? The guidebook on a petty ass page. <laughs> Or are we thinking this Aaron book? Comment below. That is it. Thank you so much for watching. I'm so fucking excited and I'm so gassed and geeked to finally meet Isayama. This literally feels like meeting one of my heroes. Now, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but I'm like a really hardcore Taemin fan. Shiny Taemin. And I have all of his albums right here. All versions. <laughs> and when I met Taemin... It felt like I reached a fucking milestone. I am such a fangirl. I have no 
problem admitting that at all. I am a fangirl. I am such a big, heavy fangirl. My Beyonce stuff. <laughs> and yeah, I can't fucking wait to meet Isayama. I say meet as if we're gonna have like a fucking cocktail, fucking party of meet and greet. No, he's just gonna sign my shit for two seconds and then I'm gonna be pushed forward. <laughs> but anyways, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you comment what questions I should ask him if I get the opportunity. Make sure you comment which book I should have him sign. <gasps> what if I have him sign? Was it volume 30? Three? <gasps> Wait, I know what I want him to sign. What's the volume where Aaron... It's just Aaron's face and he realizes what Grisha did. This one! I'm gonna have him sign this. Oh my god, this is so iconic. <laughs> Can you tell I'm an Aaron stan? I'm gonna have him sign this or... Hisu. What's that other one? Oh fuck, it's all the way in the back. The cover where Aaron's in prison? I could have him sign that. Okay, so volume 15, volume 1, or volume 34? Which one do you guys think? Or the volume where Aaron is imprisoned? Which one do you guys think? <laughs> Anyways, that's it. Goodbye.